Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Scottish song, A Rosebud by My Early Walk, from the 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. This Robert Burns song, written in 1787, was dedicated to a Miss Jean Cruikshank, who was the genie in the poem. She was the daughter of the Latin master at the High School of Edinburgh, in whose house Robert Burns lodged from September 1787 to February of 1888. Jeanie played the harpsichord well, and Robert Burns got her to play over on the instrument the melodies for which he was writing words. In return, he wrote for her this beautiful poem. Jean was only 12 years old when Burns wrote this, but she was an accomplished singer who performed Burns' songs while accompanying herself on the piano. I will teach the easy version first and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all of the elements discussed and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full-toned effect. And I will demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand. And then learn it hands separately and then put it hands together. Now, all music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather, I'm speaking about the music itself. In A Rosebud by My Early Walk, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand. So make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. In all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point. And we will discuss each of these elements now. In music, it is a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes, that the volume will increase. And when the melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the right hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat. And the lower notes are emphasized slightly. What this does is it causes the piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando, or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of A Rosebud by My Early Walk, and it illustrates the beginning, the ending, and the climax point. Isn't that great? And this is the easy version of A Rosebud by My Early Walk. version of a rosebud by my early walk, more notes have been added to the left hand to give a fuller sound to the piece of music. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. 
and this is the advanced version of a rosebud by my early walk. <laughs> a solar performance version of a rosebud by my early walk, starting first with the easy harp arrangement immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement. Mm -hmm. 